Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm going to show you how easy it was to put in these LED retrofit can lights. Now just the other day, I finished putting in the can light fixtures. I got a six pack of the Commercial Electric brand at Home Depot for I think it was 35 bucks, which I thought was an excellent price. Well then I went to shop for the trim, uh, the part that you actually see around the perimeter of the light. And the trim was going to be 10 or 15 bucks. And I thought that was ridiculous considering that I only paid six dollars for the whole metal thing. Well then, yesterday my wife and I were in Lowe's and they had a special on these Utilitech LED 65 watt recessed retrofit down lights. They're a warm white color, 65 watts a piece uh, equivalent. They actually only use 10 and a half watts. So I get all six for basically the price of one, which is really, really great. And they were 25 for two, so they're 1250 a piece. Well, I figure I basically just broke even and got a free light because it was going to cost me 10 or 15 bucks anyway for the trim. So for 1250, I get a light unit and the trim, and this is supposed to work for 35,000 hours or 32 years uh, if you use them three hours a day, which I thought that was really, really phenomenal. So I just had to do it. They're 700 lumens versus the 600 uh, can lights, the BR30 can lights that I had in there before. And I don't rave about products very much, but I'm absolutely in love with these things. Let me show you how simple it was to install. First, make sure the socket of your light is as high as it'll go. There'll be some sort of screw or wing nut here that you can loosen. Slide this all the way up and then retighten the screw or the wing nut. You want to make sure you have as much clearance as possible. So slide this all the way up. Then you just simply slide these little spring tabs up here into the housing until they catch on this. The loops on the end here keep it from falling down. So this cord here comes in two parts. I went ahead and unplugged it to avoid twisting the wires as I put this in to make it easier. So take this apart, then screw the light bulb base up into the socket. Reattach your wires and put the clips into the little tabs in your housing. Then once you have all the spring tabs in the little tabs in the housing, simply push the fixture up till it's flush with the ceiling. Well you can see that really wasn't that bad at all. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.